guys, so today I am doing my Colourpop haul. You may notice that I haven't got any studio lights up, it's like natural lighting because it got quite kind of bright out and I thought maybe well just use natural lighting and I really wanted to film this haul. So, first of all I'm going to start off talking about how much I paid, how much shipping was in the customs and how long it took to ship. Um, so I'm in the UK so and Colourpop just did international shipping about a month ago, two months, like a month and a half ago, I don't know, something like that. Um, so I'm just going to explain about how long it took first and then about how much shipping, how much I paid, how much shipping was and how much customs was. I ordered on the 5th of August. Because they say when you have when you order that it takes three to five days to process and mine took four days to process the order. And then it was shipped on the 11th. Then on the 12th it left because you get tracking. On the 12th it left the US. It arrived in the UK on the 13th. And from the 13th until the um, 18th it was going through customs so the customs actually quite long so yeah and then it arrived on the 19th which was just say it took exactly two weeks to arrive i ordered it on a friday got it on a friday okay now i'm going on to how much it, i paid on the box there's 163 but i definitely didn't pay 163 so i'm going on to my order confirmation to do that way because i got money off so does it say on this i spent 158 dollars 40 which is about 120 pounds and then shipping was 25 dollars and honestly i haven't seen that many people have 25 um, any any cheaper than 25 dollars shipping the only person i did was emily cannon and she had like 15 dollars shipping but i think she's the only person i've seen that's had that cheap of shipping um so 25 dollars is about 20 pounds so my order altogether was 183 dollars 40 which is about 140 pounds oh yeah and then customs so I got. I was looking online at customs, like at people's videos for colour pops. I wanted to see round about what their customs was. Um, most people's was around twenty. Mine was actually thirty two pounds seventy three. So I'm pretty sure. Does it sell the box? Let me see. Uh, does it say? Does it say? Yes. Okay. Here we go. So it says VAT. I didn't get any like import duty or excise. Don't know what that is. Duty. But I did get VAT, which is £24.73. And then um, I got the Royal Mail handling f uh, International Handling Fee, which is £8. Because Royal Mail feels like that they need to give you a handling fee. So £32.73 was my customs. I was willing to pay around 30 because I was expecting it, so I didn't really mind that much. So And I knew that I'd, it'd be, I'd be paying around that much. So I'm okay with that. Um, so altogether, I spent around, what was it, like 140 plus 30 170 pounds on all of this so yes that is a lot of money but if you think about i got a lot of products so when you think about how much i bought and how cheap the products are and how good quality they are i've actually not tried them at all i've been saying i've been, I, I got went and got it this morning so um yeah and just for anyone who doesn't know when you get customs it doesn't get delivered to your door you get a little card and then you have to go and collect it from the post office or the delivery office whatever it's called and then pay them then you get your parcel but i'm just going to tell you like what type of product it was that i got on sale so there was i think it was like random stuff that was on sale i got a lippy sticks for uh four dollars rather than five dollars so i got three liquid lipsticks for four dollars eighty four dollars eighty rather than six so i ne basically nearly had five dollars off now i've been talking for a while i'm sorry this took a while um i'm now going to get into the video i did get quite a lot so like yeah i'm not gonna try and go i'm gonna try and go quite quickly through it i'm just gonna show you how it's packaged you get the box i've like rubbed out the address I know you probably can't see it but um, and then what happens is we open it and the amount of people I've seen say how pretty the box is and yes the box is very pretty the box is okay can I just say when you watch these videos the box seems so much bigger than it is like I ordered so much stuff and the box is actually I honestly expected it to be so much bigger than it was like you'll be I feel like you'll be kind of if you think the box is quite big you'll be kind of shocked how big it actually is so this is like am i in focus i don't know this is how like it comes it also comes with like another piece of like this stuff on top but i don't know how it was so i couldn't put it back on for you i just left it off so this is how it comes all like this okay and then i know loads of people go through this so you get your receipt with all this stuff I'm just, that's how much how many things i bought so i'm gonna be going through all of them so it's quite a lot and then you get the map x um little thing tells you about it then you get the Colourpop little, what's this sort of called? Like a little leaflet thing explaining how you use each thing and like tips and tricks for each different product. 
and then you get the little card that everyone always says is so 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 cute which says and I will always love you XOXO Colourpop okay I'm just going to show you what, what my family products if you can see that I got 24 products <laughs> so but to be fair for the money that is actually quite good but I technically got like 30 because I got two of the quad things so um all the lip things are underneath because they packed it so well like I ordered so much stuff and it's packed in just so well so I'm gonna start off I'm gonna be swatching but I'm not gonna do close-up swatches so first of all I got this highlighter which should I do, do I need to tell you the prices yeah I'll tell you the prices um which was eight dollars which is about six pounds I think I have no idea about this one um basically this is in the color I actually don't know which color I got this in this is in spoon now I actually was gonna get lunch money because I'd seen other people have it and it looked really pretty but as I was going to order, three of my things went out of stock, so I actually got rid of them and then put three new things in to replace them, which basically replaced them. They were the same thing, just different like colours. Okay, so I just showed this, but it, my camera cut out. So it just looks like this. I've already swatched it because I just swatched it when I, um, just then. So it's already it's still in my hand. I don't know if you can see it. It's a really nice, subtle colour. It's not too much because I feel like it'd be really nice day colour. It's a really nice champagne colour and it's so pretty. The next thing I got was the eyeshadow in uh, Lovely. So this is lovely. It is lovely, right? Yeah. Which just looks like this. Again, it's like a champagne-y colour. That's really pretty. It's like that would be such a nice just like over the lid colour. I really hope you'll be able to see these swatches. A lot of the time when I don't think you can, you can always see them. So this is the bottom one. It's like an actually, it's a really nice like gold colour. And I think that's so, so pretty. So that's in the shade Lovely. So the next thing, I got two of the quads. I got both of the Kathleen Lights ones. So I got where the light is and where the night is. I wasn't actually going to get this one, but then, at, but then I saw... I went back, I was I didn't know whether to get this for Cessna, so I went back and watched her videos when she first bought them out, and um, I went back and I looked at them, and I just really liked the look of them, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy them. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this one, because this one's obviously more, oh, my hair, oh my god, um, I'm gonna, this one's more neutral, so you just slide it open, you get the really cute packaging, the thing is though, I'm probably not going to keep it in the packaging, so I'll probably just like, display the little packaging somewhere because the packaging is really cute i don't know what i'm gonna do in the packaging yet so you get four colors you get oh and by the way lovely is in i just realized i didn't say i forgot about that this is a does it say what it is it's a metallic lovely is a metallic i forgot about saying that okay so you get two mattes and then you get this one was open and then you get pearlized and a metallic. So I'll do the two mattes first. So this one is Glow, which is just a very just neutral skin kind of colour. Now this, this matte one feels a lot um, creamier than that. Like it feels thicker than the, um, than Lovely. And it might be because it's matte, so it's got that like matte feel into it. That could be why. Yeah, that's probably why. So that just looks like that. It's very, like, it's nice than my skin. It's like a, like, just a normal, like, neutral colour that would be good just as, like, a base. The next matte one is in Cornelius. And that is one of her dogs. So this is what it looks like. So this one is more of a, like, brown, orangey, reddy, browny colour. Is that that one underneath? I'm pretty sure you can see these. I'm not. Try I'm trying not to go into too much like depth into everything because I um, need to get through it all. So this next one is Kathleen Lights, which is pearlized. This is what Kathleen Lights looks like. Oh, nearly got that. Now this one is like the, my favourite looking one. See this one. This one feels. Oh my god. Compared to the two matte ones, this feels so like just like not gliding they all feel really like smooth and glidey but this feels so much smoother so that's that beautiful color there i love that color and then the last one is in blaze which is a metallic which just have i been showing you them oh god which looks like that next onto the where the night is palette well not palette um 
shadow collection I suppose it's the best way to just say what they are so the first one I'm going to show is telepathy I nearly didn't say that right telepathy which is a ultra metallic which is a beautiful like I can't think of the word the color that she called it and I know the color I just have completely forgotten what it's called I feel like it starts with C it's like that colour that's like a greeny yellow, but I can't remember what the name, what that colour's called. But anyway, this just looks... That's beautiful. That is so pretty. Like, oh my god. Next is Weenie, which is also, I'm pretty, it was one of her dogs. Um, this is a pearlised one. Which just is a beautiful, like, rose colour, rose gold. And um, there is another one called, is it called Lala, I feel like? That's like, she compared this to that, but she said this is a lot more, I think she said this is a lot more rose, or like pink, and the other one's more like gold, I think she said, I don't remember exactly. Why are all of my pans like wiggling? So that's what that looks like, that is again a, a beautiful colour, I love that so much. It's so, so, so pretty. Okay, next I'm going on to Porter, which is a metallic, Porter, which is one of her dogs, which is a metallic. And this is just a beautiful burgundy purpley colour, which I also love the look of. That just looks like that. Wait, where's it gone? There we go. I'm kind of going the wrong way. It's making it too difficult. Like that. That's beautiful. Last one is Midnight, which is a metallic, which... She described this as a black with a ton of glitter in it, gold glitter. Which, honestly, you look at this and you don't see black, but even when you look at it in person, it doesn't look black, but she said it's black with a ton of gold glitter and I completely see that. Like, oh, when you swatch it, you can like really see the black. You can see the more like black in it more than the, like, more than you can the pan. So that's what this looks like. They are so, so pretty. And the only things I've got left are the liquid lipsticks, the lip liners, and the lip, lippy sticks. Um, because the least thing out of them three things that I ordered was the lippy sticks, I'm going to do them first. So I ordered three lippy sticks. I ordered Lumiere, M Cookie, and Tootsie, and they're all matte. So I'll do Lumiere first, just because it was the first one in my hand. And these are like so cute. I only ordered three of these because these were like not the thing I really wanted that much. I mainly wanted the liquid lipsticks. That's what most people want from there. Okay, I didn't know if I'd like this, but I actually really like the look of this now. Okay. So this is just like a beautiful like... Kind of like a dusty purpley pink. Like a deep rose, dusty pink, I would say. Next, we've got cookie which is also a matte this one i was really unsure about kathleen like actually said that she loves this and it's like one of the most i'm pretty sure it was her that said it and it's one of the most like versatile ones that you really, everyone loves it but i really wasn't sure it looks really light on the website but in person it looks a little bit darker so it's just like that okay i do like this actually it's very it's quite a light color but i feel like it will look really pretty on i really like the look of that next is tootsie which, so I haven't swatched any of this stuff, and also I'm not going to be swatching any of them on my lips, just because it's just easy to swatch on my hands. So this one just looks like this. It's like a deeper nude, it sounds like, like a purpley. This is so pretty. It's kind of a bit like what I'm wearing. What I've got on my lips now is Whirl from MAC, and honestly this kind of reminds me of that, just a bit less dark, I think. Yeah, it's a bit more lighter and more grey, I feel like. But that is so pretty. This is definitely my favourite out of the three. I definitely love these types of shades, even though it's summer. Oh well. Now, lip pencils, or lippy pencils. I got, I think I got seven. One, two, three, four, five. Is that seven? Yeah, I got seven. And basically, the way that I did this is that I don't, probably didn't need them all. But like, and a lot of them are going to be similar colours, like let's just be honest, they're going to be similar because I don't, didn't, what I did is, when I put a liquid lipstick on my cart, when you go on the colour and you click on a product, it tells you what goes with it, every single lip liner 
a lip, liquid lipstick that I put on the car, I made sure it had a lip liner to go with it. Because I lip liners is like the one thing in my makeup collection that I have the least of, 100%. Like, I barely have any lip liners, and I like lip, I really like lip, lip liners. So I thought, why not go out and... I'm going to save two of them to the end, not the end end, but like the end of the lip liners because they're not um, normal ones. Okay, so I'm just going to go on with Tootsie because that was the first, that was the last one of the um, other ones I swatched. So I'm not really going to talk about these that much, I'm just going to swatch them. So this obviously just looks the same as Tootsie, which just looks like that. Next, I'm going to be swatching um, BFF2 and this is a nude a lot of these are just nude colors so they're all gonna look very similar and i don't actually remember which lip liner goes with what they all stay on the website but i don't remember personally so that looks like that that's like a brown nude next i'm gonna be doing a oh wait no i won't do that now and uh, next i'm gonna be doing brink which, oh by the way so the lighting is changing it's getting darker which is a definitely a deeper one which oh i love this color that's so pretty. It just looks like that. So I'm going across, you can probably tell that. Looks like that. Next is Skimpy. Actually, to be fair, not these so far have really been that similar. Okay, this is the lightest. Which just looks like that. I can't remember what this one went with. It's all like the collaboration ones or collab ones. So I've got, got Rooch, which I can't remember whose this is. But yeah, Rooch. And I love this because it's like, all, it's, all the writing's in rose gold rather than silver so I actually got this for Christmas because I know that I'm probably not going to order off, off of Colourpop again like this year because of how much I ordered so what I did is I um, ordered a Christmas colour <laughs> and an autumn colour so that's that really dark one there I just showed you probably haven't been able to see them so there's them all if, if I haven't been showing them properly next two are both Kathleen Knight's ones so we've got Aquarius which again is a nude. This is a lot like Skimpy, but it's more pink, 100% more pink than Skimpy. Skimpy's a lot more orange toned. This is more pink toned. And the last one is Lumiere, which is very similar to, um, not really any of them actually. This actually looks a lot like Saw, and I have Saw lip liner, but oh well. I love Saw lip liner, so yeah. It like goes with everything. So they're all of the lip liners that I got. There we go. In case you can't see them all. There we go. Okay, I'm going quite quickly now because I really need to like hurry up with this. Okay, so now on to liquid lipsticks. I ordered 10. Um, two are this, um, the, what are these called? Ultra Satin Lip and the rest are matte. The Ultra Matte Lips. Okay, so first satin one I've got. Oh, and also... These, that a lot of them are very like dusty pinks. I didn't realise this when I was ordering them, but in person they are, but I don't really care because I have heard they dry down differently, but even if they don't, they're all different in some sort of way. So, the first is Echo Park, which I love these packaging. This is just so beautiful, if you can kind of see. I'm going to have to delete stuff soon because I've only got four minutes left, um, which you can kind of see there. Next, I've got Alyssa. Is it Alyssa? Alyssa? Yeah, which is the Kathleen Lights one. This is, I, I've seen, I saw her new satin ones, but honestly, for me, this is the only one that I feel like I would wear. So again, this is a satin one now. So that's, where am I? That's Echo Park, that's um, Alyssa. This is so pretty. I honestly, this is the one I was a bit like, will I like it, will I not? And I, I really like the look of it. True, my viewfinder has just died and it needs charging. I should have actually charged it last night, so I'm kind of stupid, it's how my own fault. So these are all the matte ones now. This is Lumiere 2. So I'm not gonna really describe the colour too much, I need to get through them. So this is just a purple, more purpley pink than the others. Oh, this is, oh, I actually didn't think I'd like this, and I actually love the, like, love the look of this. Like, it's definitely darker on your skin, but I'm actually really happy about that. Like, just, that's such a pretty colour. Like, honestly, I didn't think I'd really like the purple in it, but I love the look of this colour now. I'm going through these very quick. This is, is it Solo? I don't really know. Um, so this is a bit more like a Barbie pink. Not bar. I wouldn't say Barbie pink, it's just a bit, definitely a bit brighter than some of the others. So that is Solo, I think it's called. I'm not 100% sure if that's how you say it. 
I'm basically going to do four and then rub it off and then do the next four. Next one is Bianca. I actually love this. This is actually not really like what it looks like in the tube. In the tube, I suppose it does actually. It's a very pretty colour. It's like a very like, like classic nude I feel like. But like a bit more like of a purple tone to it. Um, this one is Clueless, which again, I was very happy. I really wanted this one. I've seen loads of people talk about this one. This one's like definitely more purple, but I definitely like it. See, I thought these would look so similar, these ones, and they actually all look completely different. And then that's Clueless at the end. Like, in the tube, I feel like these look so similar compared to what they are in person. Okay, the next one is Chili Chili, which this was actually one of the last one I put in my basket, and this is a bit darker. And it's a bit more like a deeper colour. Ooh. I kind of didn't expect it to look like this, but I love the fact it does. So that's like a deep brownie ready kind of colour, I would say. But it's not really too warm. It's quite a cool brown, like cool warm mixture brown, which I love. That's so pretty. Next one is Trap, which was like one of the first ones I put in. Which looks really light, but that was, it looks similar to the other one that I had. I, I actually don't remember the name. See, I'm forgetting already. So this one looked... This one looks... Oh my god. I just pulled it out and that was so liquidy. It's literally dripping. It just dripped onto the other one. That is a beautiful colour though. But like when I say that's liquidy, it literally just dripped out of the thing onto the box. Um, so that's Trap. I don't know why, I just have to be careful with this one. But this is beautiful. It, oh, it dripped, dripped onto its own box. The next one is Beeper. Which I feel like a lot of people get. So this is also like a dusty pinky colour. Why do these ones feel so liquidy? Like they're dripping. Can anyone please tell me that in the comments? Because I don't know. This is very similar to Trap. Just a bit deeper. And a bit warmer, definitely warmer. Like, I love that all of these look completely different. Like, honestly, in like in the tube, I felt like these ones, I love the way these last ones I'm showing, the first ones are like very pink and different and pretty. And all these last ones I'm showing are like deep and like dull. <laughs> but I really like these two. These are like nice winter ones. And then this last one I got is Rooch, which again, um, I got for Christmas. <laughs> and I love this because it's got the rose gold. This is so pretty. See, this one isn't as liquidy, so I don't understand. That is such, oh, I need Christmas. I'm so excited for Christmas, you have no idea. So that was a really weird swatch compared to the others. It was like so much longer. Um, oh, that, that's so pretty, because it's kind of like, some ways it looks dark, some ways it looks a bit lighter than you think. That is so pretty. Okay. <laughs> That was literally everything that I got from Colourpop. That was a very, very long video. Let me trap and beeper. They were both very liquidy. So if anyone else has that issue, or is it just because like it's melted a bit because it's hot or something, please let me know because I'd love to know. I don't know that no one probably let me know because I don't often get that many comments. But if anyone does, and excuse the red hand now because that brooch one, I did it wasn't dried, so it's literally just smudged over my hand over hand red. Okay, I just wanted to show you what i mean by they all look so similar in the packet in the tube but all look completely different swatched wait apart from the red one that red one can go near at the back this is so hard to do so this is all the colors obviously the red ones at the back so you can't really see that so that's them all like in the tube like they're all so similar like they're all like pinkies like very dusty pinks and look very 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 similar but actually <laughs> they're all completely different as you saw when I swatched them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe and comment. And I know this is very long. I've tried, definitely tried to cut it down as long as I, as, as short, to as short as I could, because I had to talk about shipping and all of that and swatches. And there was 24 products, well 30 products to go through. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there probably won't be another colour pop for, for about a year now. Um, yeah, so, and I'm thinking about doing a makeup collection at the end of August, beginning of September. Not really sure when. I need to get all of these organised. I don't really, I need to get like a lip gloss holder for all of them. Um, just to kind of have it easily like laid out. And then once I have the makeup collection, how I'd like it. Um, 
it's near enough there how I like it. Um, so it will definitely be soon that um, that it'll be coming. It'll be like in the next, hopefully the next month. So yeah, 